In about the fifth grade, we had a missionary priest from South America that came to visit the parish, and he was given his spill about the work that he does in the missions. And I remember at that time, I was still young enough to be reading Superman and Batman and things like that. And I remember listening to this priest and asking myself the question, why would this man from the first world want to spend the rest of his life in the third world? So I thought, well, if I can't be a superhero, maybe I can be a saint. And I thought serving the poor would be a beautiful way to, to holiness. I'd been ordained a priest about 15 years. And I asked the bishop if he would permit me to take a sabbatical and I wanted to go spend it in the third world. I wanted to go down to Guatemala and spend six months there serving the poor. I was there only about two weeks and I developed a, a cough that would not go away. It was discovered that I had a, a 25 pound malignant tumor. And I was diagnosed with stage three sarcoma cancer. Uh, sarcoma is a cancer of the soft tissue. And I was told early on that the cancer, there was no cure and it would continue to come back. I've gone through one round of chemotherapy for about five and a half months and I pretty much decided I've, I'm finished with chemo. For that five and a half months, most of the time I wasn't able to say mass or, or uh, be in the office and it was just too debilitating for for little benefit. So I didn't want to do chemo to begin with, but I felt like I owed it to my parents and to my siblings to try it. But they, they've always supported me in whatever decision I've made. I don't want to die tomorrow, uh, but I'm not afraid to die because eventually we're all gonna die. And, you know, we believe in heaven and we have a firm faith in the promises of our Lord that we'll be in a place where there's no suffering, no sickness, no sadness, and that's going to be heaven. So um, I, I believe what God has said, what Christ has taught us.